Alrighty, let's do one more thing. Let's use this thing called a function. Now I'm going to make triangles. I'm going to make triangles at the end of these two branches. Now, to make a triangle, it's three lines of code, but I don't want to write three, six, nine, twelve, you know, that, that many lines of code. So, at the beginning, I define a function called triangle. And I have to indent. And to make a triangle, I've got to, I got to do something three times. So, we're going to repeat something three times. And what we repeat is we go forward. We go forward and we turn. So, doesn't matter which order I do them. Yes, it does. Which way I want to do them, I'm not sure right now. T right 120. And T dot forward. Uh, let's go 15. I don't know what it's going to look like. Okay. Now, anytime I want to make a triangle, I just have to, have to, I just have to type the word triangle in my code. So let's see. I'm gonna make it there. That's at the end of two branch. That's at the end of the branches in the second. So go forward. So here we're at. We're heading. Pen down. Pen size. Cut. Go forward ninety. Turn right seventy. Go forward forty. Backward. So I want to make the triangle here. Triangle. And then I want to make a triangle here on the left branch. Alrighty, let's see what it does. Yep, line six. What did it like? I know what it didn't like. I always forget colons. It told me error on line six. So it's a line six. It's not always perfect on what line, but usually it's close. Sometimes it'll tell me like error on line thirteen. So if I look at thirteen, there's no error. I'll look at twelve. I'll look at fourteen. All right, let's see. So there's the inner branches. <laughs> now we're going for the outer branches. Make a little triangle. Now you notice how one triangle is on the bottom and one triangle is on the top. That all has to do with the orientation, you know, which way I'm headed kind of thing. And I, so it's coming, think of I've got a toy car and I'm driving out this branch and then I say turn right. Well, that's right. And then I'm driving out this branch and I say turn right and it turns to the right. So one's on the top and one's on the bottom. How would I fix that if I wanted them both to be on the bottom or on the top? Um, I'd have to have uh, two different triangles. One way, one way. There's always multiple ways. One way is I would create two different triangle functions. One where I turn right, and I call it triangle right, and one where I turn left and call it triangle left or triangle L or and triangle R, that kind of thing. I could even call it tri R, tri, I mean, you're just naming it something doesn't matter what the name is, but you tend to use names that have a meaning to them. Um, so there's, draw a triangle. Uh, what you, I mean, there's all, there's all sorts of, how, you know, how do you, you can put pentagons in here. Again, it's just a for loop, five times. You're moving forward and you're turning. So now you gotta think the angle you gotta turn to make a pentagon. Now these are going to be regular pentagons. All the sides are the same and all the angles are the same. So it's 360 divided by 5. Boom. So. Well, let's see. Let's go. Let's, let's make a pentagon. Well, that's not going to look very good because it's so small. That's the other thing with the pen size and how big you make things. Shapes sometimes don't have much meaning. So there's using a function. Define a function that I'm going to call triangle. Don't forget to call them like I always do. And triangle needs three steps, a for loop, and then two motions. Turn right, 120. 
go forward, forward, forward. Forward, right, forward, right, forward, okay. And then how do I make it hit draw a triangle? Well, I did, I just type the word triangle, you know, with the brackets. So there you go. Have more fun.